So Unreal Engine 5 just officially released yesterday and there's a lot of cool new stuff to cover. But before we jump into the video, make sure you are subscribed if you want to see more Unreal Engine 5 content and tutorial videos like this one. So if you're completely new to Unreal Engine 5, you might be wondering, what's the big deal? Why are so many game studios as well as film companies switching over to Unreal Engine 5? Now, the main reasons why are the two big features of Unreal Engine 5, which are Lumen and Nanite. Lumen is a global illumination, real-time lighting system. And what this means now is you can have realistic, dynamic lighting, where traditionally you had to actually bake out your lights and try to create this fake bounce lighting by using multiple different point lights. Now with Lumen, all you have to do is place one directional light in your level or scene and you get photorealistic lighting results instantly. This is great for both films and also games where you can have dynamic real-time lighting that looks photorealistic. Now the other main feature is Nanite which is Unreal Engine 5's flagship LOD system. It allows you to have insane level quality of detail and meshes that traditionally was just impossible for real-time rendering. To render just a single image of a high quality mesh like this would take a 3D program like Blender hours because of the millions of triangles. Now it only takes a fraction of a second. And what most games have been using up to this point is actually the traditional LOD system or level of detail. Basically how it works is when your character or camera moves closer to an object, the object is swapped out for a higher detailed model of that object. So as your character moves farther away from that object, it then gets swapped out with a lower quality model. And this allows you to save on performance. And while this system sounds great in theory, in actual implementation, can have a lot of issues. And we've seen this in games like Cyberpunk where you get lots of popping in of meshes where you can see the obvious transition between that higher quality mesh and the lower quality mesh. What Nanite solves is that there is literally no more popping in of meshes. You can just load in a very high quality mesh that has millions of triangles and there's absolutely no popping. And the other side of that is that it is all still real time. You don't have to render out an image. You can see millions of triangles and the artist doesn't have to do anything to optimize the mesh. They can just take a raw photo scanned asset or sculpted 3D model and enable Nanite on the mesh and just drag it into the scene. Now these two systems not only bring photorealism to games, but also real time rendering pipelines like the film industry and much more. In addition to these two big new features, Epic has also been acquiring a lot of different technologies and different companies and making their services free for Unreal Engine 5 users. To name a couple of these different programs and services, we have things like Quixel Megascans, which is a library asset of over 16,000 realistic photo scan assets that you can use completely free in your Unreal Engine projects by just opening up the engine and clicking on the Quixel Bridge window. It's as easy as choosing a 3D model that you want to download and just dragging and dropping it into your scene. Another new technology is the MetaHuman Creator, which is a realistic custom human creator that you can use uh, to create really any sort of custom human 3D model that you can import easily into Unreal Engine, which is entirely free. What's nice about all of these new features and technologies is that literally anyone can download the engine for free and within minutes start playing around with photorealistic assets as well as use the same tools that big studios use around the world to create AAA games or popular TV shows and movies. So it's an obvious no-brainer that more and more film and game studios are actually choosing to use Unreal Engine to develop their games and films. There just really isn't any reason why not to use the engine. There are just so many free tools, and not to mention the whole engine is free to use and completely open source. 
So anyways, those are just some of the main features that Unreal Engine 5 offers. There's obviously a lot more underneath the hood. And if you guys want to learn how to use Unreal Engine 5, you can check out some of the tutorials that I have on my channel. I teach you the very basics of how to download and install the Unreal Engine to navigating around the user interface and just getting comfortable with using the engine. So guys, if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more Unreal Engine content and tutorials. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.